Hey everyone, this is my newest friend Emily. Now I never knew Emily before this weekend. We went to the same college back in Wisconsin, graduated the same month, but never really hung out, just knew of each other. Interestingly, our postgraduate journeys brought us both out west, heard of Reno, Nevada, and meet a Salt Lake City, Utah. We ended up connecting and started talking, which eventually led to planning a trip for her to come visit me in Salt Lake City, having never hung out before. Pretty crazy, I know. Our little weekend adventure started off with some caffeine to help power through that initial getting to know you awkwardness. And then we hit the streets beginning to explore the city. And it was so much fun to show someone else around the city. See the sights like the City Creek Mall with trout swimming through it. Even some firsts for me too, checking out some antique shops I hadn't seen, a brewery I hadn't been to before. I heard put something on Snapchat. Had my first taste of sake, which was all right. Embarrassed myself with chopsticks. Had some great sushi. It was so much fun. I've had so much sushi. And then the biggest adventure came. We took my vehicle and drove to Strawberry Reservoir to do some car camping, explore some outdoor areas. And even with cold, wet, rainy weather causing mud to be everywhere, Emily still smiled through all of it. So seriously, huge props to her. She made this experience so fun. And for two people that had never hung out prior to this weekend, it felt like we had known each other for years. And we had such a good time, all the way into the night where we shared laughs and stories around a fire, just enjoyed each other's company, and shared some awesome s'mores as well. <laughs> now, Emily really reminded me that even if the conditions aren't perfect, you don't get the weather you asked for. If you remain smiling through the whole experience and stay positive, there is still so much fun to be had. So cheers to new experiences, life lessons, and a new friend. Thanks so much, Emily. I can't wait to adventure with you again.